Hello everyone. This is a quick tutorial on how to install community created plugins for OBS. Let's get started. So first we have to get onto the OBS website. That link will be in the description below. On this link, we have all these different plugins that we would want. For this example, I'm going to be installing two plugins, which is the move transition right over here and the advanced scene switcher. All right. So for the advanced scene switcher over here, we have all the information that it provides on what we can do installation on how to do it. So I'm just going to quickly show you how to do that. So on the right, right over here, it says go to download. We're going to press that and it's going to start download the scene switcher. Now for that move transition, same place for the download, we download it. And on this one, it actually asks you to choose your operating system. So this is for Windows 64, Windows 32, and that's Mac OS. I have a Windows 64 PC, so I'm going to start downloading it. Once these downloads have completed, you'll find them in the folder that they have been downloaded. And what we have to do is we have to extract them. So you're going to right click, you're going to extract all. This window is going to pop up and it's going to extract it to the same folder that we are currently in. So we're going to extract this one. So now that we have these two folders extracted, now we have to install them into the OBS uh, system settings. So to access that, we go to this PC, local C disk, program files, and over there, you should have OBS studios. So we're going to open up OBS studios and we have right over here, bin data OBS plugins. Now, if we open up our scene switcher folder, so we go scene switcher, scene switcher, we have Linux, Mac OS, windows. We're going to go to windows. I have 64 bit. And right over here, it has just the advanced scene switcher DLL. So all we have to do with this one is we have to open up the OBS plugins, 64 bit, and just drag and drop. And then your plugin will be uh, installed after you reset your OBS. Now, the move transition itself is a little bit different. It has two folders. So it has a data folder and OBS plugins folder, just like the OBS install folder. So we're going to open up OBS plugins 64 bit and we're going to grab those two open up it on the install folder and move them over here i have this transition already installed so i'm not going to replace it and then you do the same thing for data so you go back to the obs plugins data obs plugins obs plugins and then you just transfer this move transition right over here and then it would be installed into the folder and that's it and that that is how you install custom-made OBS plugins.